and spice and all things nice. But growing up, I want to see what the ingredients of the perfect woman must be. She must have something sweet, so people's pain she can see. There must be something strong, like a little bit of iron maybe. She must be able to speak out, and that can be risky without the doubt. She must be stylish and still on the outside, but on the inside, extraordinary power must hide. She must be able to listen well and even hear what the people don't tell. With us today, there's a lady with even more than this recipe. Tuli Madoncela is her name. She makes things quiet. That means even when she don't speak loud or ever scream, but when she opens her mouth, she can change a disaster into a dream. It is said that the future belongs to communities and nations that invest in their children. And you will probably agree with me that it starts with something like what we've seen today. Where I noticed that the young ones were singing, and, but it wasn't just the beauty of the music that caught me. It was the smiles on their faces that said to me, they're having fun. Yeah. And that mattered a lot to me as a parent. We are told that in the past we used to see young people as future leaders. But a study done by the World Economic Forum recently says that young people are today's leaders. In any event, you will know that a proper notion of leadership understands that leaders are not people with titles or with positions. Leaders are people who influence change, who influence things at whatever age they are. They could be two-year-olds in a preschool ready, or a grand person, a, 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 an old person such as uh, Uncle Kathy Katrada. You are a leader not because you have a position in your church or your organization. You are a leader because you make things happen by influencing human behavior, by influencing history. And these young ones, just by being here today, are already leading us. You will probably agree with me that every person wants to belong. Everyone wants to be significant. We are social beings. We want people to notice that we exist. I mean, if you read uh, the social pages, you'll see that young people um, often feel aggrieved when they are treated as invisible. So part of the reason people gravitate to what certain things that could, would include addiction is running away from the problem such as feeling invisible. So everyone wants to belong, but also everyone wants to be treated fairly. Even the people who treat other people unfairly, they want to be treated fairly. Often then we seek refuge from the unfairness of life and from social injustice. 